We did it, guys. 1,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to subscribe to the channel. And I'm happy that you guys enjoy my content enough to actually subscribe. So, I want to do a special where I'm going to race 10 trains at the same time on the same line as a celebration. So, these are the locomotives. The Chesapeake and Ohio Allegheny locomotive. Union Pacific Big Boy. Daylight 4449. Union Pacific 9000 class. Mallard. Flying Scotsman. Nicoplay Dest S2. Polar Express. 844. And a cab forward. If you're brand new here and don't know how to get these 10 amazing locomotives going at the exact same time, all you now need to do is press P on the keyboard to pause the game. Now there are two ways of making the dial in the bottom right hand corner move. You can either hold down your W key like I just did, or you can click and drag with mouse. Just make sure you don't drag it backwards, otherwise you'll go backwards and die. Now we gotta boost these guys up. And this is gonna take a little bit to get all of them going. Then, once you're ready to go, just press the P key again and off we go. Okay, so first out of the yard looks like it's going to be Chesapeake and Ohio at Allegheny. Shortly followed behind by the Polar Express and Mallard. I didn't really add much to the map because I didn't realize we were going to hit a thousand as, as quick as we did. And Polar Express is now in the lead. Closely followed behind by the Allegheny and Mallard. And Mallard is overtaking the Allegheny. And everyone's slowly following behind. Polar Express is doing 18 miles an hour. Mallard's doing eight or 19. Allegheny is doing 16. Your big Boy is doing 12. 4449 is doing 12. 9000 Class is doing 10. Uh, S-2 is doing 10, 844 is doing 14, and the cab forward is doing 13. Go up to Polar Express here, which is now doing 25, and is about to be overtaken by Mallard. And it's officially happened. Mallard has overtaken Polar Express, doing 30 miles an hour. Everyone is following along still. However, the main race up here seems to be Mallard versus the Polar Express. Polar Express does seem to be overpowered in almost every race it goes into. But, it's going to have a tough time against Mallard, since Mallard's doing 43 compared to Polar Express 42. Mallard's at 44 now. 45. 46. 47. It's going to hit 50 soon. 48, 49. 50 miles an hour. Polar Express has just hit 50 now. Flying Scotsman is doing... 38, Allegheny is doing 28, 4449 is doing 30, and Big Boy is doing 30, 844 is doing 31, Cab Forward is doing 30, uh, where is the... and S-2 is in last, doing 23. I think it's confirmed that the Nickel Plate is going to come in last, and Mallard and Polar Express are nearing the first corner, doing a... 66 miles, 67 miles an hour. Polar Express is doing 65. Based on this, it doesn't look like Mallard wants to give up first place. 300 meters from hitting the first corner. This is where I think Polar Express is going to shoot ahead a little bit, considering that is a lot less area that it has to travel to get around the corner compared to Mallard. Well, let's find out. 77 miles an hour. <laughs> miles of Mallard. Mallard is doing 80 miles an hour. Polar Express is doing 76. Flying Scotsman is doing 59. Oh, 844 managed to steal fourth, doing 48. 4449 is doing 50. Big Boy is doing 48. The Allegheny is slowed down to 33. The Cab Forward is actually doing pretty well at 46. 9000 Class is doing 37. And Nickel Plate is doing 37 as well. Yep, Mallard is slowly, er, slowly pulling away from Polar Express again, but I think it reached its top speed of 95 miles an hour. Oh, 96. In real life, A4 Pacifics were brought down to 95 miles an hour because they weren't stable enough to go over 100. That's why the real Mallard threw a rod doing the speed record. <laughs> 100 miles an hour, okay. 101. Polar Express is gaining on the inside line and doing 99. Mallard is doing 102 now. 103. 103. Will this be one of the first locomotives to actually beat Polar Express? If 
Mallard keeps this up, you could possibly win. However, I think we reached the top speed now at 111. Polar Express is doing 110, 111, 112. Go faster! <laughs> Go faster, Mallard! Realistic isn't helping. Oh! I forgot the speed glitch still works in the newer builds. Polar Express is doing 117 now, but Mallard's gonna cross the line first! Mallard was one of the first locomotives not powered by rockets to beat Polar Express. Wow! Here's Flying Scotsman doing 81, 844 is doing 73, 4449 is doing 72, Big Boy is somehow almost at 70. The Cab Forward is doing 65, uh, oh! The S-2 managed, er, the S-2 and the 9000 class managed to pan it, or pass the Elegany. The Elegany is stuck in last, doing 35. The 9000 class is now in second last, doing 48. The S-2 is doing 57. So, the locomotive coming in third will be Flying Scotsman doing 84 miles an hour. Nice. Cab forward is doing 70. Doing a lot better than I thought it would, to be honest. Okay. And over here. The S-2 is doing 68 miles an hour. I don't think it's going to hit 69 or 70. Uh, the 9000 is stuck at 50 miles an hour. The Allegheny went down to 35. Try and catch up to the S-2. Go forward. Oh, the S2 hit 69. Will it hit 70? 70 miles an hour. So are you gonna hit 71 or no? I don't think it- Oh, it did! It hit 71 miles an hour. Off the rails you go. 9000 is still doing 53, but at least it didn't come in last. And the last locomotive is the H8 Elegany, doing 36. And here we go, Elegany is almost at the end of the line. Took f almost 15 minutes to get here. There you go. And poof. I would just like to thank all of you again for enjoying my content enough to hit that subscribe button. 1000 is a huge milestone in my life and hopefully we can get to 2000 soon. See you guys in the next video.